Hi everyone, welcome to BISP Trainings. My name is Faiza Alam. In this session, I'll be telling you about the NetSuite dashboard trend graphs. But before that, before moving our, uh, before moving towards our uh, concern, that is trend graph, we'll know about what are charts and graphs. So charts are the visual representation of data that helps to understand and compare data easily and effectively. These are the more uh, popular method for uh, sharing information for, you know, any business. It can either be numeric data or it can be based on conceptual models. It enables business people to express complex data in a simple format, uh, make informed decisions more quickly and take appropriate actions accordingly. Along with that, it also enables uh, us to visually compare multiple sets of data, like whether we are comparing sales figure or highlighting a trend graph uh, uh, for any uh, particular record. Charts are the most preferred option. Charts add value to our presentation. It improves the clarity and effectiveness of our message. As companies become increasingly data driven and monitor more data, charts have become a valuable tool in that scenario. So businesses use graphs and charts to help them convey information and make sense of, sen sense of data. Basically, there are uh, f uh, various kinds of uh, charts are used, but basically fives uh, are the most important one and I will be telling you about that. So the first uh, type of chart that we have is the column chart. So column charts are used to show comparison among different items and categories over a period of time. It makes things easy, uh, immediate and understandable. These type of charts are mostly useful for statistical comparison of data, like, you know, for comparing performance from various business department and for making comparison of negative against positive values. In the picture, we can see that the sales for uh, these uh, particular years, that is 2015, 2016 and 2017 are being shown uh, with the help of this uh, column chart. So it is the uh, best way for uh, comparing and for conveying the information onto the groups. The next category that we have is the bar chart. It is also similar to the uh, column chart. The only difference over here is uh, for the column chart, the data or the variables are given in the vertical format, while in the bar charts, uh, the information can be displayed uh, in the uh, horizontal format. You can see that here we have the customers and uh, under the, that is uh, shown under the x-axis and on the y-axis we have their roles that are uh, that have been divided under which the customers have been divided so it is also uh, bar charts are also used for comparing and for you know conveying information of any data the longer the bar the greater the value would be so this is about the bar chart the other category that we have is the line chart so or line graphs so line graphs uh, show changes or trends in continuous data over a period of time with a line connecting the dots that represent the different values. Here we can see in the picture that uh, these are the various various dots and the line that is connecting is showing the total sales for the given period. So this is about the line chart. Here uh, we have the visualization of data in the form of uh, uh, lines that connect the dots. The other category that we have is the area chart. It is basically a line chart. Uh, we can see that it is, you know, uh, showy, it is uh, similar to the line chart. But uh, the space between the x-axis and the line is filled with a color or pattern. Area chart helps us to analyze both overall and individual uh, trend information. The last category that we have is a pie chart. So it is a type of uh, chart that represents data in a circular graph. These charts are used uh, to visualize how a whole is divided into various parts. Pie charts are good options for visualization as it, make, as it makes easy to see a section in relation to the whole. If we talk about the pie chart, so they are most impactful with a small data set. So this is about the charts and their categories.
so moving on to the netsuite application as uh, now we'll uh, look at our uh, today's concern that are the trend graphs so trend graphs are used to show trends in data over a period of time as displaying data over time increases understanding of the real performance of a business process so how can we set our trend graph uh, on our netsuite dashboard so for that uh, we'll go this is my netsuite home dashboard you can see that so for setting up a trend graph i'll go into personalize here i have the trend option i can either drag and drop it here or i can simply click on it so here it is set now you can see there is no portlet setup i'll go into setup so here we have to mention the chart type Uh, these are the various uh, chart options area line bar column which do we want to set so i am taking here if i take this bar here here we have to select the uh, kpi so for this demo purpose i have created a custom uh, cash sales here it is we have to mention the name for it since it is a cash sales by rolling period so i will be mentioning it we have we can uh, define the series color for it so here i am taking this color along with that we can also add maximum 3 uh, kpis uh, on our trend graphs but for this purpose i am taking this only one trend and un under the trend type we have these options daily weekly monthly quarterly yearly so i am taking here monthly show moving average i want to show the moving average on my dashboard so uh, i have already uh, checked this box if uh, we do not want it so we can remove it so this period to calculate moving average is here we have to mention the number that we want to display on our window of data that is selected so if we uh, select to if i select two here so uh, the moving average will be shown will be shown as a uh, two average If I select three here, so it will be taken up accordingly. This show last data point is like uh, if I don't want to show this uh, month's data on my trend graph, so I can uh, no I I can <clears throat> remove the checkbox from here. If we want to include zero on y axis, so we can check this box. I no, I do not want that. For the chart theme, uh, I am taking here this global theme. We have these these options. We can uh, select it from here. So I am taking the global theme, or I if I want to, so I can take the colorful one. For the background type, we have these these options. Like for the background, either we want uh, whether we want lines, bands, or grids. So I am taking here this global background. Now after providing all these things, I will click on save. so you can see as i have selected bar over there that is why it is displaying like that uh, if i want it to be shown for the area chart so you can see that it is showing uh, these thumbnails uh, with the help of these thumbnails we can change the uh, visualization of our trend graph so this is about the area chart this is about the line chart here the bar graph here the column chart you can see that for the y axis we have the period and for the on the y axis we have the uh, cash sales and this is for a rolling period uh, we have this arrow if uh, we want to have a zoomed uh, view of our uh, trend graph so we can have it you can see that it has it is being started from july 2021 and uh, it is showing the trends up to june 2022 this is the moving average and if i hover on this bar you can see that it is showing me the total cash sales for the month of july 21 uh, and this is the moving average along with that we can uh, refresh it and with the help of these three dots we can uh, print the chart we can export it into the csv or excel format along with that we can download the png jpg pdf or svg and if we want to remove this uh, trend graph from our dashboard so we can remove it so in this way we can have the view of the changing uh, trends
this is about the trend graphs in case of any doubts and consultations you can write to us at www.bispsolutions.com thank you